What's up guys, this is Rise, and welcome to another video where today we're taking a look at Heatran in the Great League. Heatran is a Pokemon that normally you'll see in the Master League and can be difficult to obtain below that 1500 CP threshold to get it into the Great League, but Silent Beast is a beast and he was able to get it and obtain it in that Great League CP limit. So he is going to be rocking it in the Great League. These were from a few days ago in the Summer Cup. But Silent Beast is an amazing player, so these are for sure going to be some high-level battles. He's running it with Mantine, Diggersby, and of course the 1499. How about that CP on the Heat Ran in the back? And we're going to see how this thing does in the Great League, where you very seldom will ever see it. And his opponents will surely be in for a surprise when the Heat Ran is unleashed in the back. So here we go. In the lead, Mantine versus Toxapex. Two bulky beasts going back and forth. And of course, you're just going to want to go for straight Aerial Ace in this matchup. Nothing fancy. But you see Silent Beast maximizing his energy in case his opponent was to swap out or something. Would have that energy. And oh, goes for a catch on a potential Sludge Wave here. Is he going to make that catch? <laughs> yes, baby. Catches the resisted poison move onto his Diggersby. In comes a Shiny Obstagoon. Very cool. Shiny Obstagoon coming in, going to like this matchup against Diggersby, but with the incredible bulk of Diggersby, takes the cross chop quite well. And look at it, getting to the Scorching Sands here. Going to opt for the Scorching Sands as opposed to the Hyper Beam and able to connect. Will reach another Scorching Sands, which I don't think will quite knock out, but might actually get a Protect Shield out of this Obstagoon. No, Obstagoon says, I can tank it and counter down. Nice call from the opponent. But you lure out the counter user. You're very comfortable just taking whatever this Obstagoon wants to throw at you here and saving shields for that Heatran. If the Toxapex comes back, I wonder if you expend the Aerial Ice energy knowing that the Fire Spins are not very threatening to the Toxapex. No, actually going to swap in. Yikes, this looks pretty bad. <laughs> this is a top left. Okay, so right off the bat, we know that although not very many people have been able to obtain a Great League Heat Red, it's not like it's... Uh, this overpowered menace that you are um, that you can't win without, right? Game number one, double counter. Not a whole lot. Um, not a whole lot Silent Beast could have done there, I don't think. But here we go. Game number two, trying to get one back. And going to catch a Psychic Fangs here, most likely, onto the Diggersby. Psychic Fangs going to chip. And uh-oh. Could this be double charm? We see Wigglytuff coming in. Oh, let's go. Going for the Hyper Beam. Come on, Diggersby. Let's go. Go for that hyper beam. Oh, get shielded. Dang. I wanted to see that land. We'll reach a Scorching Sands, it looks like, but not before Wiggly gets off a move itself. Oh, you know what? This is such a dominant matchup for Heatran. You double resist the charms. You double resist the charms. I think you might have lagged a turn there. That's fine. You double resist the charms. You double resist the Icy Wing. <laughs> you double resist the, the Disarming. You double resist everything. Actually going to be forced to throw a Magma Storm here. Interesting. I guess didn't want to take another move. I lost track. I didn't know if Wiggly was going to get there. But now going to go for the Stone Edge here. Has so much energy. Heat Ran fires off the Stone Edge. Toxapex is so bulky that it takes it pretty well. Plus the Heat Ran was debuffed. Going to clear the debuff now. In comes Mantine. Still has both Protect Shields, so going to finally invest in one. And it is a Sludge Wave, so a nice shield there. Building up, building up, building up. And going to throw the Aerial Ace. Aerial Ace from Mantine. Going to slowly chip away the Toxapex. This next one will not threaten to knock out, but it's going to put it really low. Start to make things uncomfortable for Toxapex. That Giraffe comes back. And going to get off the... No, not going to throw the Water Pulse. Going to let it go. Going to put it on Heat Ran? Huh? <laughs> Is that what we're doing here? I guess so. Throws after three. Understanding that that next Confusion wasn't going to register. And now will this allow... You have a shield still. So this will allow you to get to the Magma Storm. You're only one away from Magma Storm. Beautiful. Heat Ran. I think could have closed that out a few different ways. But that... That worked out in the end. Very well played. Rebel 7284. Ooh, Turtonator. Turtonator had a lot of play in a previous, like, Great League themed cup. 
And now we see Mantine with its signature somersault throwing Aerial Ace at Azumarill. Neutral matchup. Um, like a really close matchup, right? Because two play roughs plus the bubble damage starts to get Mantine really low. Mantine's going to need at least three Aerial Aces plus all the wing attacks. So here we see the damage starting to add up. Second Aerial Ace incoming. One cool thing about Aerial Ace in the main series game, one of the few things I remember is like Aerial Ace never misses, right? In the area, in the uh, main series, one of those moves that like always connects. And we see a nice catch, potentially a play rough here onto the Diggers V. Ooh, do we see a bold quick attack down here? That would be nasty. Diggers B. Oh, unfortunately, Azu does reach a move, but not going to be willing to shield with the sheer bulk of Diggers B. Willing to withstand the super effective Ice Beam has all this energy, and it's a Credilly, so you can't go for the Hyper Beam. That would be resisted. Going for the Scorching Sands instead. These are going to hit for neutral damage. Gets that attack drop. Very nice. Throwing after four quick attacks for proper timing. And Diggers B looking so sly, looking like he's up to something. In comes that Turtonator going for a farm down. And notice that we saw Silent Beast transfer and incinerate there onto Mantine. This may allow the Diggers B to reach another Scorching Sands in the endgame. We'll see if it comes down to that. But Water Pulse connects because of that sub Dragon typing only hits for neutral damage, remember? And now we're going to go for that Aerial Ace. Got to shield something if you're the opponent. They finally put up that shield. Turnator going for a massive farm down has so much energy. But Turnator doesn't have any cheap charge attacks, if I remember correctly. It only has expensive charge attacks. So they're going to be forced to throw something here right away. And I'm blanking on what it has again. Dragon Pulse resisted. Silent Beast knows it. He wasn't going to bother shielding anything. In comes Magma Storm. And I think... I think that Diggersby will live a Bullet Seed and get to Scorching Sands if need be. But you could invest your shield here on Heat Ran as well. No. Going to let it go. Lives a Bullet Seed. Gets off the Scorching Sands. And Diggersby is going to take out the Grass type to win the game. GG. Very fun team here. With a Great League Heat Ran. Something you definitely don't see every day. Positive lead. Mantine against Tropius. Giraffe safe swap met by Heatran. And uh, this is where Giraffe can be such a nuisance because you're going to let the Psychic Fangs go. But I wonder if just the sheer pressure of confusion plus... Like, like, I think Giraffe can probably shield and flip this now. I have to say. Yeah. Like, these confusions are just so oppressive. I think, though, Heatran can live one more confusion even after this debuff. So I think you still get off this... Magma Storm. So you are going to get both shields. Is Giraffe at 1 HP? I don't think so. I don't think it knocks out through... It does. It knocks out through the shield. <laughs> it was at 1 HP. If you didn't know, shields don't prevent the charge attacks from doing any damage. They still do 1 damage. So if your Pokemon's at 1 HP, it will knock out through the shield if you use a shield. And uh, now we have Mantine versus Ariados. In comes... Vigoroth, notice how the Silent Beast throws immediately, understanding that his opponent's one turn behind, so he gets a free sort of denial out of that. Um, Has to stay in pretty much, right? Doesn't have something he can really counter swap into the Vigoroth here. If they let this Aerial Ice go, maybe he'll be willing to swap in Diggersby. But honestly, his whole team has play against that Ariados. And if he can just get rid of this Vigoroth, he can align his Heatran with the... Uh, yeah, so he's just per perfectly comfortable. This makes sense. Perfectly comfortable beating the Vigoroth. And now you can align your Heatran with the Ariados. Going to pivot into Heatran, understanding that they have to stay. And then you have Diggers be against Ariados in the back, which is like neutral. Because you don't have Fire Punch. Going to go for the Magma Storm here. I wouldn't have minded to see him. Uh, I think this is now. This is probably better, to be honest. I was gonna say just stay in and then just put in Diggersby here and then close out with the Heat Ran. But oh baby, oh man, how much is Magma Storm gonna do here? Magma Storm. Oh, nearly one shots. One more Fire Spin. 
Oh my gosh, Heat Ran, you absolute menace. Almost, oh my gosh. Almost sweeping the entire back line. And then gonna combo with Mantine. Didn't even have to reveal the Diggersby in this game. Diggersby gets some load management, gets to take a game off. And that's a 4 1 set. 24 79 approaching that veteran rank already this early in the season. Mantine versus Vigoroth. This is where you want to see the Vigoroth. So, although this, I wouldn't say this is like a great matchup for Mantine by any means, this is a good lead in the sense that your back line is avoiding the, the counter user, avoiding Vigoroth. Shields the rock slide successfully. That's great. Going for the water pulse, which is interesting. Water pulse um, puts it into aerial ace range, I guess. Oh, and catches a potential rock slide on diggers. Yeah, I like this play. Because now it's in more of a manageable, like, quick attack down range if they stay in. Yeah. They're going to get off a body slam, but that's fine. Because now you farm down before they would get to another body slam. Excuse me. Beautiful. Vigoroth is out of the picture. You've got all this energy. Oh. So, like... Oh, well, okay. To be fair, as far as the opponent knows, he has Fire Punch. That makes sense tried to catch like the scorching sands and now the opponent's probably confused they're like wait how do you react so slowly there but now the opponent's probably realizing oh it probably doesn't have fire punch he probably has hyper beam so i was gonna say wait why did the opponent do that but yeah they probably were thinking catch the scorching sands thinking they have scorching sands fire punch now you get the farm down this kingdra though is gonna be a menace that was a kingdra right we saw yeah how do you beat the kingdra this is terrible. <laughs> this is so bad. Octazuka will just probably knock out the... Uh... Okay, get the air. Like, this might grab the shield. You have energy. Maybe this is still possible. Oh, they don't shield. Nice no shield. Outrage will knock out. And I... <sighs> Unless you can get to double Magma Storm. But I don't think so. There's no way, right? No way you get to double Magma Storm before the next Octazuka. Gets the shield. Yeah, GG. I've been running Kingdra a lot myself. Well played by the opponent. A little bit too strong in that scenario. Playing Magmar Man. Popular trainer in the community. Always known for running his spicy picks. Quagsire lead. Quagsire super annoying Pokemon to deal with. Super annoying. If I had a good one, I would probably be running it too. <laughs> but you never know when they're going to Aqua Tail bait or go for that hard-hitting Stone Edge. Lag. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're lagging. Magmar Man might have already knocked out the Mantine for all we know. What's going on? What's going on here? Well, that's not great. Oh, and did we get a loss? I think we got a loss. Magmar Man, what did you do? Just kidding. I'm sure it was it was the game. It was. I'm just joking, Magmar Man. Sure, it was just the server. Fix your game, Niantic. Next opponent, Giraffe Rig from Master Red. Uh, gonna outpace to the aerial ace here, so you get to put the pressure on first, which is nice. It's always nice when you can make force your opponent to make the decision first if they want to shield. They're actually gonna let the aerial ace go. They build up, so this could be a super effective Trailblaze. Do you want to invest a Protect Shield is the question, and you do. It's a nice shield. And, oh, gets the full farm down. Yikes. That does not look good for the opponent. Oh, my gosh. All this energy, all this super effective threatening energy now leers itself towards this Toxapex. Another Scorching Sands coming through. Notice how the Silent Beast actually waited a turn there in case there was a potential catch. Scorching Sands connects. Doesn't even shield. Knows that Diggersby is too tanky. It can survive a brine here. And going to farm up. Look at just the patience. Like, not throwing immediately. Just over farming. Scorching Sands again knocks out. And the over farm. Oh, my gosh. Well, this is over anyway. <laughs> but the over farm there. And the patience is going to allow the Diggersby to get to another Scorching Sands if necessary. I think 
charge a bug just loses anyway like i don't i don't think a discharge is enough from here maybe it is magma storm gets the shield goes for a double cmp there i wonder if the game's gonna give him a double cmp it gave him a double cmp oh, unless it unless they both throw through two moves potentially oh my gosh he got the double cmp that is nasty that is nasty work there's probably been a few moments in this video where I've like said a few things like the double CMP where people might not exactly know what I meant there, but. Oh, tough lead. Lantern still exists sometimes, even after the nerf. Wait, we're staying? I don't think we can stay there. I know we're like ABA weak, but I think we still got to switch. I think we still got to switch. Um, because... At least Heat Ram has like Stone Edge where you can do something against Lantern. Mantine just does like nothing against Lantern. Mantine is just like getting eaten alive. Getting sparked alive. Go for the Scorching Sands here. We're undercharging. Oh, I guess we're going to go for a farm down with Heat Ram. Interesting. I don't know though. Like, we're going to take a lot of extra charm damage. And my thing is, we're also banking on the fact that they're going to come in with Lantern with this strategy. If they don't come in with Lantern, I feel like we're kind of toast. Come on, Lantern. Come on, Lantern. Lantern. Oh, okay. Play? Play? Maybe? Bait, maybe? I think we should, I think we bait and then maybe we swap. Oh, I was thinking maybe bait. Well, maybe you get to two anyway. Yeah. Okay. I like it. I like it. Oh my gosh. Wait a sec. This, oh, we could win this. So we have a stone edge banked. We clear our debuff. We have to get this into stone edge range. We have to shield. Cause I think we have to land at least an area lace to get this into stone edge range. They bait the surf. Nice bait. Holy cow. Are we going to win this? I think we win this. Lance the Water Pulse. This has got to be Stone Edge range now. Holy cow. Silent Beast, bro. Calm down, dude. Calm down, dude. Holy cow. Stone Edge knocks out. Oh, my gosh. The reason he was able to win that game is because although like he was ABA with the Lantern, the back line had was just absolutely shredded by the heat ran so lantern basically had to like tag team two pokemon when the back two pokemon really had like nowhere to go against the heat ran so both poke both teams were like essentially two times like super weak to something on the other team kind of a weird game ggs rock slide gets shielded here we got one or two more battles in this video in one of my streams, I said Vigoroth with a bow. It's actually a uh, a visor, I believe. Vigoroth with a visor. Like a tennis player. And um, Mantine's going to get the farm down here. Come out with some energy. What's going to enter the field of play? It's going to be Ferrothorn. I think the first Ferrothorn we've seen this video. And this is perfect. So this is a situation you're willing to let yourself just go down. Get farmed down by the bullet seeds because you have a heat run and this is gonna do some chip damage here could have done one wing attack but wanted to be safe that the bullet seed didn't knock out and then oh baby uh, this is a little awkward though because you're down a shield and incinerate plus disarming voice is gonna add up and because you're running quick attack here a oh, crunch they're running crunch and you get debuffed yikes because you're running quick attack, no fast attack pressure. So you're just relying on these scorching sands. So this could be a tough hill for this um, heat run to overcome. If you do get the second protect shield, though, from this scorching sands, maybe heat run can now sweep. Because then you just need to make sure you land the stone edge onto the skeledurge. And suddenly, I think you might be okay. Especially because they're debuffed. So maybe you're even willing to tank the move here. They might even bait you with the crunch. Yeah. And that doesn't do too much. You are debuffed. And because it's a five-turn user, should be okay 
and not allowing the catch. And now you just have to over farm, but this is getting really weird because you're so low. So this is not comfortable. This is not comfy. Oh, has to throw. Could have got the farm down maybe, but it's so tough in the moment. Are you one fire spin away? Oh, baby, look at that silent beast. Knew he was one fire spin away. Knocks out the skelly. And look at Heat Ran, dude. Wow, what a performance. Started off with a double counter team where Heat Ran was like, yikes, this thing has nowhere to go. But three points shy of hitting Veteran. I'm sure Silent Beast, if he's not Veteran already, um, <laughs> will hit it very soon. And uh, yeah, Heat Ran uh, really went on a tear in a few of those battles. So some really good ones there. Thanks so much to Silent Beast for sending that footage my way. If you guys enjoyed these battles, Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Comment down below. All comments are appreciated. And all that said, thank you once again for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Peace.